the breaking news overnight in the Bronx. A police chase ending in gunfire, and it all started with reports of a car being broken into, and that led to the gunshots near the Major Deegan. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez has been following the case overnight. He's live at the concourse section to break it all down and what we know right now. Johnny. Hey, good morning, Mike. Well, a little bit of a complicated story. Like you said, police, this uh, this all started when police received a 911 call about a car being broken into, and then they ended up here at the Grand Concourse section in the Bronx here over on 161st, and all the way up there where you see that police car, that is Summit Avenue. That is where this all ended. Now, let's get over to some video and show you guys at home what this scene looked like and break down what happened. Now, the police chief says that his officers arrived to a scene over at 149th and Coven Avenue. Avenue to check out the car break-in situation. As police were working that scene, they observed a car driving recklessly, and when they ran the plates on that car, they realized that that car was stolen. Police started to pursue that car and ended up here in the Bronx, where they arrested one of the people in the car, and the other suspect fled into a marshy area near the Major Deegan. Now, moments later, the suspect pointed a gunfire at police, and take a listen to what happened moments later. At this time, members of the 3 0 precinct engage this person in exchange of gunfire. If this exchange of gunfire, the individual dry, uh, walks in, runs into the marsh area right here next to the Major Deegan, and a second gunfire exchange occurs. Now, what you're seeing on your screen right now, those uh, are pictures that were tweeted out by the police department of the gunfire that police were able to retrieve from the scene. Now, as for the suspect, the police chief says that he received aid from police officers near the Major Deegan, and after that, he was taken to a nearby hospital. He was shot in the head and in the leg, and as for his condition, we know that he is critical at the hospital.